Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is something really interesting. It's the uh, add-on FPV module, 5.8 gigahertz FPV, FPV module for the SEMA X5C and the SEMA X5S series quadcopters. Now this is not produced. I don't believe it's produced by SEMA. This is a third-party add-on. Um, but it's pretty darn neat because it's actually 5.8 gigahertz and they give you a nice antenna to go with it. Um, it should have good range and we're going to find that out today. Um, let's talk about the uh, transmitter itself and the camera. Uh, the camera is self-contained uh, trans with transmitter included. It also has... <laughs> Sorry about that, got an email there. It also has a built-in battery so it doesn't use power from the quadcopter. Um, that's a problem with the SEMA X5C and X5SW. Uh, their stock cameras use the uh, quadcopter's power to power the uh, um, camera. Uh, that greatly reduces the flight time on both of those quadcopters. Uh, hopefully with this self-contained battery um, there should be should be less of an issue. There is a plug that goes into the quadcopter. It's not a power plug. It seems to be the control plug primarily for uh, starting and stopping recording on this uh, quadcopter. Um, other than that, uh, you have dip switches so you can set the different frequency or different uh, uh, freq or not, I'm not sure frequencies, but uh, let's say channels so that uh, you can uh, use, uh, fly multiple versions of these quadcopters uh, at the same time if you wish, you know, without them interfering with each other. Uh, other things on the camera has an on-off switch, and there's its power port right there for uh, charging it. It also has a slot for an SD card. I'm not sure if it records or not. We're going to find out today. I'm going to try to see because a lot of these, uh, what, or a lot of these um, FPV quadcopters uh, that have slots. Uh, for SD cards, they're usually inoperative, particularly with the Wi-Fi uh, models. We'll see if this one actually records to the uh, card. Let's talk about the transmitter itself. All it has is an on-off switch, a power port for uh, charging it, and again the dip switches for setting uh, different channels. It also comes with a nice uh, I forgot what this type of antenna is called, but it's I know it's a long-range antenna and also it has a collapsible um, screen sunscreen uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be a problem out here in the desert with the Sun that we got here uh, being able to see the actual uh, Screen, but we'll find out so let's go flight for the same x5c um, Also notice that my x5c transmitter. This is the one that I had modified to get better range. So I want to see if we get good uh, flying range along with good uh, reception range from the uh, FPV antenna. So hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go for a flight with it. Let's see, I gotta turn it on. Turning on the quadcopter. Turning on the reception screen. And we got reception. Let's see if you can see that folks. Of course, we got a problem seeing <laughs> out here in the desert. It is kind of dark, uh, but I'm going to record from this camera too to see what the camera operates at. Notice it has an up-down swivel. I'm going to keep it up slightly up so we can uh, see more or less the horizon. And I'm set to go there. I'm going to turn on the transmitter. Also, notice I was receiving without turning on the. Well, I did turn on the quadcopter. If you turn on the, off the quadcopter, you'll still be able to see reception. Binding it to the transmitter. I got a little timer here I'm going to use with it. Setting my timer. And also I want to record. Can't remember how to record. Oh yeah, that's how you record. Okay, I got uh, red light or red numbers flashing. That means I'm recording. Let's go for a flight from my old workhorse, the CMAX 5C. I like the X5C. Oh, I can actually see this out in the sun. This is a better screen than most. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up for you folks, though. My X5C has been through probably a thousand flights. Well, that's probably exaggerating, but many, many, many flights. Okay, I'm in high rate now. Let's send it out there, up at about 100 meters. And I'm still receiving. I'm letting it fly back. Okay, I lost reception there for a second. I'm receiving again. Oh, I can actually see what I'm looking at and what I'm recording. I'm turning slowly. Oh, this makes it great. I hope this video is HD video. We'll find out. But rotating up in the sky. A 
this actually works pretty damn well. I hope you can see this, folks, on my uh, camera, because I'm I'm actually seeing it out here in the desert in a sunny day. This has got to be one of the better screens for FPV that I've seen. Let's let's bring it down lower. Let's do a low speed or a low pass, low altitude pass, reduce some throttle. Actually, see what I'm doing. I can actually fly with this. Okay, it's getting choppy on the screen. Cool. This is one of the better ones, folks. This is my car. I can see it. My wife and... Oh, that was me. My wife is taking the dog for a walk out here. I don't know if you see her. Wait, 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 wait. There she is. There she is. <laughs> this is cool. This one actually works. I could actually fly this one out in the sun. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera. No, I'll leave that camera on. What the hell? I'll leave the recording. Let's turn the uh, air conditioner back on. Way, I'm way out there, about 100 meters. And it's great range. This is excellent, folks. This FPV, I recommend it. If you got a CMX 5C, you're going to want this. You're going to want this to go with it. There I am. There's my car. Where, oh, there I am. Wait, there I am. Hi. <laughs> I hope the hell this is recording. Okay, I'm bringing it in. I want to make sure I have battery power to record that uh, video. Yep, there goes my three minute warning. Okay, let's land this thing. Let's see if I can land it. FP Whoa! Yeah, let me stop the recording. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. This is the first FPV one that I liked. All the others are very pale in comparison to this screen. This screen actually works out in the daylight. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. And notice, here, let me turn the quadcopter. Okay, I've, I'm pretty sure that recorded. So I'm going to turn the quadcopter off. And notice, we're still getting signal from the screen. I don't know if you can see that on my... But there I am. There's that handsome devil. <laughs> Can you see that, folks? <laughs> so, this is a neat one. Again, this isn't produced by SEMA. I believe it's produced by a third-party company. But it's very good. Uh, one thing I wanted to also talk about real quick before I hang it up here for today is it has adapter clips for the X5S and the X5C so that you can uh, attach it to both since they do have a different attachments. And also it has this, uh, these two prong clips that this might actually be possible to, to attach to other quadcopters that use those fork prongs. Um, it's a fork prong in the front, a fork prong in the back that attaches to the adapter that attaches to the X5C. So it might attach directly to others. Again, it does not draw power from the quadcopter. It just draws uh, recording uh, input uh, from the... Um, transmitter here from the that goes to the X5C that goes to the camera but it doesn't have power it has its own encased power okay that was the flight of this let me turn it off am I still viewing yeah look see you can still see out there and there I am again okay I'm going to turn off the off switch on this and that should be it and turning off this so again that was a test of the FPV add-on module uh, one thing I didn't show also is this is how it attaches, and this is why specifically it's for the X5C and the X5SW. It has a little attachment bracket that attaches to the fake antennas of both of these. Um, I don't know if this would actually fit to other uh, uh, quadcopter transmitters, but it does fit, and it's made specifically for the X5C and X5W, or S, X5S. So, I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.